Pavement is an indie rock band from the 90s, and they're probably one of the most influential indie rock bands of all time. If you are a fan of an indie rock band, they're probably influenced by Pavement in some sort of way. These guys are kind of categorized as like slacker rock, and the one chance that they had at commercial success, they kind of went the other way, but more on that later, because today, I'm going to be ranking each and every Pavement album. Slanted and Enchanted is Pavement's very first album, their debut, and it's sloppy, man. It's <laughs> I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing that it's sloppy. It's kind of it's kind of low fi I've kind of been avoiding pavement because of the fact that I always just thought that they were more of like a cheesier, cheaper Built to Spill. And this album kind of confirmed my suspicion, but this album did come out before Built to Spill's first album. So I guess that's Built to Spill's fault and not Pavement's fault. And this album is kind of like all over the place, but that's also not necessarily a bad thing. It kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit. The album opener, Summer Babe, Winter Version. That was supposed to be like a hyphen right there. It's a great album opener. It immediately gets you in there with that raw lo-fi energy with those guitars and drums and bass is going thrown at you right away no time to waste with this album opener trigger cut is also a fantastic song it's a great follow-up to the album opener and then the third track no life sign her sing her that's where things start to get a little bit weird the lead singer uh, his name's like Steven Malcolmus or something like that Steven Malcolmus the song starts off with him just like screaming like ah, fuck it <laughs> and then like the chorus is also strange or kind of talk about how there's no life for gingers I don't know what pavement has against gingers the fourth track does definitely bring it back though in the mouth of a desert Conduit for sale kind of throws me off, but you know, he's he's trying. Zerk is Stained it reminds me of a backyard barbecue. The song here is pretty popular, and I think that has to do with the fact that it was in like two pretty popular drama romance movies. It sounds like it fit the vibe of a drama romance movie. Also, Steven is like being a hype man in this, boosting someone's ego by laughing out their bad jokes. I feel like that's what you guys do for me. <laughs> One of my favorite pavement songs of all time is on this on this album, Jackals, False Grails. This song in particular, I wish was way longer because it's just like a, an amazing jam session. There's like a really cool sounding synth in there. The guitar tones in there are super sick and just fantastic energy coming off of that track. I can see why this album kind of inspired that slacker rock feel. There's some fantastic tracks on this thing, but I think as an overall project and the overall scheme of things and the pavement discography, I think I'm gonna throw it in B tier. Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain. Pretty much their most successful album like commercially. And I think that's due to the fact that this is definitely a lot more polished than their last album. It's way less on all over the place there's definitely like more of a, like a defined sound to this album and that defined sound is like you know just typical indie rock of the 90s they didn't really try to do anything too crazy with this one i think this is kind of pavement at their weakest honestly i think every pavement album is really great in their own way just some are better than the others you know and it is also really ironic how this became one of their most popular albums because in their song cut your hair they're basically just shitting on the music industry the whole time but then that became like their most popular song at the time i didn't live back in the 90s but i I can assure you everyone was singing ooh, 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 ooh. The album starts in a fantastic way with Silence Kid. There's like a really interesting like minute and a half of just like musical intro. But I think it's a fantastic start to the album. The first four tracks on this album are pretty solid. Stop Breathing is an interesting track because it's about war, but it's also kind of about tennis. <laughs> and so there's kind of some weird comparisons there. Newark Wilder is like the first track on this album that I'd probably just kind of skip. Unfair sounds like it belongs in like a Tony Hawk Pro Skater game. I can picture me like just doing some insane combos to this album. Probably the most wild that that al that this album gets is that track right there. Pavement does have kind of like an interesting like punk rock vibe to them. Not all the time, but they definitely seem like they've got some more punkish influences. But that's not very apparent in this album. Gold Sounds is a very fantastic track. Probably one of my favorite Pavement tracks. I gave my address to myself. Range Life is an interesting song. I love Range Life. I think it's a great song, but there's some beef with this song. They kind of called out Smashing Pumpkins and Stone Temple Pilots. That kind of led to some bad vibes between the van they didn't mean to start any beef i think they just thought that the line was funny do you want to know the weirdest song on this album hit the plane down hit the plane down is a weird track doesn't really fit into this album at all. The album closer, Fillmore Drive, it's almost a seven minute track and they're really just kind of jamming the whole time. And it is very reminiscent of some Built to Spill album closers that I'm very fond of. So I really do enjoy that song a lot. I think the reason why I don't enjoy this album as much as I do some other Pavement albums is because of just how like, I guess vanilla it sounds compared to some of their other stuff, which might get me some flack based on my other opinions that you will find in this video. I'm putting it in B tier. Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain gave him a bunch of radio play with the ooh, 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 ooh. 
So they had this great opportunity to pursue commercial success. They could have followed it up with something just like that album, but they were like, nah, f that. You know, kind of like how like Radiohead did with Kid A, except they failed with it. <laughs> I think it's good. It's just when it came out, not a lot of people thought it was good. But nowadays, a lot of people think that this album is really great. This album is more reminiscent of their first album, kind of like all over the place and uh, just super sporadic in sound. But it's also extremely experimental for pavement standards. Like it's probably their most experimental album of all time. And that's a good thing because the album is 18 tracks long and it's basically an hour long i think the sporadicness of the tracks definitely play into the advantage of the album also the album title reminds me of zooey mama rattled by the rush the second track is also a very intense track but in a good way there's a really sick like guitar riff in there there's also like a harmonica that gets thrown in there and some weird guitar solos in there brink's job is the first track on here that's kind of strange you listen to the first two tracks you're like okay i can vibe with this but then you get to brink's job and you're like Something's not right here. It kind of reminds me of like a weird Blur song. Grounded is one of my favorite pavement songs of all time because I just love that guitar riff. I mean, the chorus is also just super explosive with that guitar riff. Also, he's singing about a doctor who's taking acid on vacation. How can you not like that? Best Friend's Arm is insane. I love it, man. Especially the outro where like everyone's like, keep it under your best friend's arm. And there's also like a really interesting switch of tone from like the verse to the chorus that's really enjoyable to hear in that song. Flux equals rad is another song that just reminds me of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Fight this generation. There's like a cello in the first half of the song and there's like a really interesting switch up in the second half of the song. I love that song. One of my favorite songs off this album. Half a Canyon is just a super sick song with an insane guitar tone. And then the second half of Half a Canyon is incredible and Steven is just screaming his head off. He actually like stated that he thought that he was gonna have like an aneurysm because he was screaming so hard. Good on you Steven for uh, committing to the role. I think Wowie Zowie is really good. I can definitely see why it wasn't as loved. This album sold like half the amount of copies that that album sold. Pretty solid record. So I'm gonna throw it in A tier. Right in the corners. Now this album is a complete like run away from their sound i guess it's a lot more polished a lot more accessible too and i honestly think it's probably my favorite pavement album it's not as explosive as some of their other albums but that's not really a problem because these tracks are just insane like stereo is one of the best album openers that pavement has ever done super groovy bass line the guitars are super nice and clean in there has my favorite pavement line of all time pigs they tend to wiggle when they walk he probably doesn't mean it literally but uh i i really like taking that Lyric literally. Shady Lane is also a really nice, sweet, smoother song. Some nice twinkly little guitars. Good vibes coming out on there. Love the chorus in there. I don't even like follow the religion of God, but I just like that line because it's very interesting to me. Transport is a rain. The switch up is very interesting because it's like a nice lighter tone song and all of a sudden it gets really dark and it's super cool to hear. Old to Begin has a super laid back vibe to it. Honestly, this entire album, it feels like a nice Sunday day, like a nice chill out. Maybe clean the house around, do some dishes, go for a walk or something the guitar riff and type slowly just hits my brain in some type of way like during the chorus it's like asmr pass a dream so this is the point on my sunday where i go outside and i go for a run I don't really have any problem with this album at all, so I'm gonna put it in S tier. Now we got the final album, the last album that Pavement released. Kind of unfortunate. There was a lot of turmoil going on with the band in the studio. Apparently Steven was being kind of uh, selfish with the songwriting process. They had Nigel Godridge come in and help them produce the album. You could definitely hear it. I didn't notice it at first, but after I found out that he did the production of this album, you can definitely hear his little fingers all over this thing. I actually really enjoy this album a lot. It definitely keeps that polished sound that uh, Brian in the Corners had and it improves on that sound even more. Spit on a Stranger is like a fantastic way to start your day. There's some great vibes. I don't really know if the lyrics reflect the vibe of the instrumental, but if you don't pay attention to the lyrics, the vibes of the music is there. The outro of You Are A Light is super sick because the song kind of quiets down a bit. It gets a little, uh, gets a little spacey and then uh, the guitars just come in with a sh ton of distortion and it sounds awesome. Cream of Gold kind of took a little bit to grow on me, not gonna lie, but now that it's grown on me, I absolutely love this this track major leagues reminds me of another song uh, especially like during the chorus where it's like do 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 do
Maybe it's a song that I wrote, I don't know. But it just, it reminds me of a song that I've heard before. And it bugs the shit out of me because I can't figure it out. I, like, I swear it's the same exact riff. I absolutely love the chorus and Billy. Pavement just has some really great choruses because they really just turn up the energy. And this song is no different. The Hex is also probably one of my favorite Pavement songs of all time. Super sick riff, very haunting, but the chorus is a lot less haunting. The extended version of the song is really nice too. And then we got the final song, And Carrot Rope, which is just great vibes, man. I absolutely love this song. Super nice, upbeat energy. Great way to close off the album, I feel like. I kind of feel the same way uh, with Terra Twilight as I did with Brian the Corners where I just don't really have any problem with the album. I think it's a fantastic album. I'm going to go ahead and put this album in S tier. So there we go. That's my pavement tier list. Make sure you let me know your pavement tier list in the comments down below because that's always fun to look at. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.